Okay, this is some new info that's coming in from the Scan Pyramids mission. It's a mission that they came out with uh, ground penetrating radar and a few other uh, muons and a few other different ways of trying to detect um, non-evasively uh, into structures, um, mounds, things like that, and uh, pyramids. And uh, let's take a look at this. Some exciting information here. Come up with a group of scientists, I believe, that comes out to being 56, 54, 56 people. I don't know, it's just roughly me adding up the group, 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 group thing, but uh, the evidence that they have for this, and uh, one thing's been staring at people all along, that hole right up there that a lot of people have gone up to, um, and it goes into a little slight coral room, um, shows something. Now, in the Middle Ages, that hole right there was made by Kali Falmoon, Mamun, and uh, it's a hole that they bored through until they ran into the hallway. And the hallway led to the great hall and then whenever they found their way out they were able to find their way back out correctly but um they were trying to find you know what was in the great pyramid i guess and then so here's that little hallway that he would have made and then that led into the great gallery that led into everything but this was launched back at the very end of the year in october in 2015 and so they came up and put sensors in and things and uh it's trying to look through the stones that are in certain areas, so they put these things up that are microwave transmitters, basically. And through this 3D assimilation, they find a void in the wall, um, just behind the wall, as if it may be one stone thick, and on the other side of that, there is literally a void. So, the team that was running the lower part brought their sensors up to the upper part, and then the other guys with the muon sensors, they can do this for even from out here, this distant ground penetrating radar. And you see these arches that were up there, this archway that's set right there. This is able to do this from a distance. It's something you can do from a plane, from a drone things like that but uh, there it is where they find it whoops I just missed it but there it was where he was pointing at it and they have found that so this is in Khufu's pyramid and I don't know if y'all have been watching this but uh, they've you know talked about finding a few voids well they've gone back over and over again now to correlate data and use different detections and then they've taken and use cinder blocks and solid stones and set up, uh, you know, places with voids in them and fine-tune their instruments and have come back with them again and find that, yeah, it really is set like that. So, hopefully you are catching this in the 3D that it is in, so, but there's that void directly in front of the wall. It's right through the north face area, down inside that cave. But you see where those arches are, right here. And that there's a void that runs right in between this wall here that looks like it could be as big as this whole area that they're talking about. And it also shows signs of being perhaps tilted or having a lot of refuge in one side of it. It could be as simple as having one rock, but this ancient horrible area here where it has the archway into it and you can easily tell that, that that's put there for a reason it's a stress relieving thing that's not all over the pyramid and it's what's above the great rooms so it's very possible that there's a great room that's all in between here too because from down below it detects it going straight up so let's take a look at this see if i can take it up high contrast see it a little better yeah there's a yeah so this is a microwave set that they're doing basically it's kind of like microwaves it's like muons like an x-ray situation they're running through it it's called muography They're running these emulsion films and they run them set up all through the chamber. Whenever they do, 
find that there's a gap. And the gap seems to be straight up above them. So that was last time. So now they've come back again and shine through again and it shows that it pitches it right over here somewhere there it is so and you can see there's a grand gallery there's a king's chamber what's this what's this here's the king's chamber from there there's the grand gallery going down what's this and this gap that's here you can see the the squareness of that it holds that squareness idea well there's another void up here too that's next to it keeps showing up side and it's kind of the size of the grand gallery so they shoot it from outside external there's a muon telescope and it shows it's right inside the edge of the pyramid it's right inside there so by catching it at different angles, they've gone through here, through there, and then from the outside external, and that kind of triangulates it, and it shows that there's that whole extra path that's in there. And it looks like they have a gallery and a room, even on the other side, another room. And here's that gallery and what they're looking at. not quite the size perhaps of the grand gallery one thing when these things detect something like this though it has a tendency to encroach back in on it because of the when it begins to detect something it tries to amplify that so and it could be as low as here or about as high as there off the triangulation it could be like this too and run at an angle like up that shaft pretty much but it seems to be offset from the shaft like perhaps the shaft leads next to it or right alongside of it or maybe even connects to it with a separate little side shaft of course that little shaft that we're talking about is only about as big as a shoebox or a little bigger so it's not something you can fit into but they're about to put robots up in there and try to get a little farther to it and they're going to try to be able to come through here and what we're waiting for now is all of the permits and things to get to see if they can't uh, go in there to take a real good look at it. There'll be another video coming out soon. They've got a part two of this and a part three. And three, of course, is the total reveal. And apparently they're in the midst of being able to do it. So y'all hang in. Like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate y'all.